Okay guys, just finished work for the morning now and I decided I'm going to be doing these little uh, out of the theatre videos and not coming out of the theatre because last night I went to see Spider-Man No Way Home, I had work in the morning and I didn't really have much time to digest this film. Like, oh my god. I've only been to two movies which have cheering theatres in them. I know America has them all the time but over here in Britain it's quiet. The other two were Invention Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Guys, Spider-Man No Way Home is that third. Because this film is more than a it's more than a, just another Spider-Man movie, another superhero movie, another Marvel movie. It's it's an event. And uh just bear with me a second. Ah, sorry with that, cars. It's an event. You have to see this film. Tom Holland really comes into his own as Spider-Man in this one. He's no longer Iron Boy Jr. He's shared that, and he, you know, the Stark Tech is, you know, he's he's handling it as Spider-Man, which is great. Now, uh, the villains from the old movies are back. Uh, it's all in the trailer, so I'm not going to spoil anything. I promise. And they are very well developed. They are, well, for the most part, it's like especially like there are three in particular that get the most sh to shine are uh, Green Goblin. Sam, oh no, not Sam. Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and Electro. Sam and Elizard are in it as well. And, uh. They do. They do talk, they have some development in it, but those two kind of get the short end of the stick, but they're still in it enough and they're used very well. Uh. The action is outstanding, and it's a fun, joyous film, but at the same time, it's emotional, it's dramatic, it is. And it's the story of sacrifice, and it's. The National Spider Man's about sacrifice, so they, they nailed this one, they absolutely nailed it. And. I can't wait to see it again. People, you. Guys, see this movie. See it. Uh, especially if you're a fan of the. I, any of the generations, if you like the Sam Raimi movies, if you like the Mark Webb movies, if you, especially if you like the MCU movies, see those. Uh, see this when you can because it's just that damn good.